So, uh, <laughs> what did we just witness? First off, we say when the Blue Jays go down three plus runs, it's, it's pretty much lights out. The game's over. It's done. That's usually when we start the game, it's usually like that. Move ahead to the ninth inning, Jays down 10-4. Well, that's, yeah, it, it's pretty much over. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Magic happens. Let's break down this ninth inning because this thing had a, bl a little bit of everything going on. A little bit of luck. A little bit of nice hits. Let's look at this, right? We Let's look at this whole ninth inning the way it shapes up. Then we'll break down the game as it is because this ninth inning is really what matters. So Brooks Pounders comes in to face the Blue Jays. Walks Ryan Goins to lead off the inning. Doesn't really mean a lot. It's a 10-4 game. whoop de doo Kevin Pillar has a, on a 1-2 pitch. It's a, it's a home run, a two-run shot, making it 10-6. But again, it's 10-6. You're down four in the ninth inning. Pretty much over. And then, Ruff Snyder, the newest addition to the Blue Jays, hits a ground rule double. And then they bring in their closer, Bud Norris. That doesn't seem to phase the Jays whatsoever. Ezekiel Carrera bloops a ball into center. And Ruff Snyder stays at third because he had to make sure that the ball dropped in. Runners on the corners, nobody out. But again... Still four runs down, tying run, still on deck. Then Russell Martin hits an infield single past the third baseman, but kind of in the hold of the shortstop where he had to make some miraculous throw. But, but, this was the key right here. Ezekiel Carrera was moving on the pitch, therefore he's easily at second. Russell Martin's busting it out of the box. He gets there no problem. Run scores, 10-7, and runners at first and second. Then Justin Smoke grounds out to first base. They, uh, you know, they get the one out, or excuse me. He, he grounds out to the first baseman, but the runners move up. Runners at second and third. Still, though, you're, the tying run is on deck. You're still down by three. Ken Reese Morales has a very, very, very good at bat. Does not start swinging at the garbage breaking balls and takes a walk to load the bases. Bases loaded. Winning run at the plate, and the tying run at, f at first base. Oh, who's up to bat? Yeah, that's, r that's right. Steve Pierce is up. Now, let's flash back to four days ago. Steve Pierce at the dish and extra innings for the Blue Jays in the 10th inning against Oakland. You know, and crushes the Grand Slam down the line to win it. Jays win 8-4 in that ball game. This game, a little bit different. First off, you're down three runs, so you need all the runs, including yourself, to win this game. Steve Pierce gets ahead of the count 2-0. And then, you've got to be expecting fastball. The guy throws two sliders, misses badly on both. You, you're you sitting dead red fastball, no problem. Steve Pierce gets the fastball and drills it deep to left, and it clears the wall as the blue chase. <laughs> win 11 10 and this game this 11 10 victory that seven run ninth inning is the largest comeback in the ninth inning in blue jays history what a, oh my goodness you know i don't i'm gonna be honest i don't blame people for leaving it's a 10-4 game in the ninth inning this team never really fights when they're down a lot <laughs> but you know what? I give credits to this ball club for not giving in, for fighting, for grinding, for being a pain in the rear to this team, and for I, I understand. I understand we lose the series, and I understand this team is probably not going to the playoffs. But I don't care who you are or what fan you are of what team. A game like this is something you have to be happy about and have to go nuts about because what a game it was. Blue Jays down in the dumps early, right? You know, Valdez did not have a great game. In two innings, he gave up seven hits, seven runs, six earned, walked one. He was really not that great. And at that point, you know, the Jays were down 2-1 uh, after one full inning. Then the Jays were down 7-1. Right, And then the Jays got three back and made it a 7-4 game, but then they couldn't get anything else going. They tacked on a couple more runs, made it a 9, what was it, a 9-4 game. And they got one in the ninth, and you're like, ah, oh, it's a 10-4 game. Ball game's over anyways. But not in this game. As the Blue Jays rally, they fight, they grind at bats, and they get their pitches to hit, and they do not miss them. 
What a ball game. What a finish. I don't care that we lost the series. I could care less. But you know what you do? You give the LA Angels a really bad taste in their mouth. I understand we've blown leads lately. We did that yesterday, giving up a couple run. You know, I think it was like a two-run lead and a three-run lead. Two-run lead in the ninth inning as well. Well, nothing adds up to a six-run lead in the ninth that evaporates in that inning, and you get walked off. Nothing a lot, no, Nothing is like that. Remember when, we looked up, remember, remember when we got walked off by the Kansas City Royals? They came back in the ninth. Ha! It was not by six or seven runs. This game is rare <laughs> but i don't care because it was a great game i give credits to aaron loop for god's sakes i'm gonna give him credit for an inning in two thirds of three hit ball but he gets three strikeouts and does not give up a run in those innings bull singer he's off the dl you kind of had a feeling you were gonna see him it was yeah my uh dermody comes in yeah, it gives you three innings, gives up one hit, one run, walks a guy. One run in, a th in three innings is not all that bad for a guy who doesn't pitch all that much. And he does pick up the win. But you know where I... The pitching I can't really credit because... And also three errors for the Jays is not very good at all. But what I got to give credit to is this lineup up and down. They had 12 hits and they battled. Ezekiel Carrera, top guy in the order in this game. Bautista and Donaldson get the day off. Zeke goes 3 for 5, has an RBI, scores 2 runs, and obviously it's the home run that was in the bottom of the first inning. Russell Martin, 2 for 4, obviously that uh, key base hit in the ninth inning there. Justin Smoke, 1 for 4, um, he also got an RBI as well. Steve Pierce, 1 for 3, but it doesn't matter because he's a stud. Um, and then you look down the order, Kevin Pillar was 2 for 4. Ryan Goins was one for three, also with that big walk in the ninth inning to kind of get things rolling. Ruff Snyder one for three with the double, and he also scored a run. Seeing that if you got if look, the key to winning ball games is having your big guys do their thing. But if you can have your bottom of the lineup do what they do and do really well and grind at bats and, and take walks and get on base. That is a recipe for a win, and that is what happened in the ninth inning. Let's let's like, how did that ninth inning hole start? Your number seven batter Ryan Goins starts off, and he gets a walk. Your number eight batter Kevin Pillar hits a two-run shot. Your number nine hitter Ruff Snyder hits a ground rule double, and now you're back to the top of the lineup where Carrera singles, Martin singles, Smoke rules the runners over, uh, Morales walks, and then Pierce obviously with the grand slam. This game was gorgeous to watch. And it's also big for the Blue Jays because you look at it from a broad perspective. Yes, they lost the series. And yes, they lost two of the three games in the series. But if you look at it from a whole, the Jays are 5-2 and two in this homestand, which isn't all that bad. you got to look at it from that standpoint as well. Now, the Blue Jays go on the road. They go to Chicago to take on the White Sox for a three-game set. Now, Chicago is a team that is struggling really 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 bad they are one and nine in the last 10 they've lost five in a row they're 39 and 62 and look who you've got going on the mound for the jays marco estrada again we had, some, we had some we saw some good things out of him in his last start james shields on the mound for the white Sox. he's had a rough season but i think he has the jays number in his career i'm not 100 percent sure about that game two uh mike pelfrey against marcus stroman uh his first start since that uh that tossing he had a little while ago and then Jay Happ versus Derek Holland. Again, Derek Holland having an awful season. So basically, the best pitcher you're seeing in this in this series, statistically, is Mike Pelfrey with a 4.73 earned run average. It's a series you can sweep, but you've got to take it one game at a time. Very happy with the Blue Jays today in finding a way to win this game. It's, oh, it's so good. It's so good watching tight games like this, especially when the emotions go out. You know, the first two games suck. They get beamed in, game, in the first game. They blow a couple leads in the second game. We're all like, ah, oh, this is absolutely atrocious. And we think this is going to be another, like, well, we just got swept after sweeping a team. But no, this team battles. They grind in that ninth inning, and they do it. Without Bautista and Donaldson in the lineup, they get the job done. Mwah! Just gorgeous. But now with Cesar Valdez's start going, eh, not so great. Who pitches next? Who's the next starter? Who knows what's going to happen there? But forget about all that. Tomorrow, it's an 8 10 first pitch. Marco Estrada, James Shields, as the Jays are in Chicago, taking on the White Sox. 
I'm not going to put expectations on the series. We just got to take it one game at a time. That's all we can do. Now, if we can win tomorrow, that'll be nice. Win two in a row after losing two in a row. Erase those two games and start your road trip on the right note. All right? So, you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, hey, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What, what, what would you guys think of this game? Like, like, just give me everything what you guys thought. The fight this team showed. Let me know what you guys think. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night as the Jays look to, like I said, start the road trip on the right note and win two games in a row and pro hopefully see a good outing by Marco Estrada. All right? So, we'll talk to you guys then.